Hi friends, my name is Bhavya Mangala. I am again back with a very, very interesting topic which is inspired from my book, The Power of Self-Talk. And today the topic is the perspective of the life. And by the time this video will end, you will understand what exactly is the meaning of perspective. Why do we have a different perspective and whether it is helping us or it is creating problem for us and what we can do to have the right perspective about life. Let me share a very interesting story. This story is of a man who was traveling by a local train along with his two children. Now his children were shouting and screaming and doing all those nonsense things in the train. And everyone who was sitting there, they were very, you know, feeling disturbed that why these children are screaming and shouting and playing and shouting so much and why the father is not doing anything about that. And it was continuing for a long time. One of the co-passengers could not sustain and after a while he started shouting at that man that why you are not controlling your children and why you are sitting mum? Don't you think that how much we are getting disturbed? Well, that man replied very calmly and said, I can understand your problem. But the problem is that just today morning my wife expired and we went for the cremation and we are coming back from there. So since morning, my children were feeling very uneasy, uncomfortable and they were all weeping. So that's why I'm not stopping them and I'm allowing them to do whatever they want to do so that they don't remember their mother. Listening to this, not only that person, but everyone in the train who was listening to that was stumped that, oh my God, such a wrong thing has happened to this particular person and we are blaming this person and the children for all the noise that is happening and all the disturbance that they are creating. So it was a paradigm shift in their behavior. On one side, their perspective was that this person and the children, they are not understanding you know, the decorum of the train and now they are feeling very sorry for that. So this is all the perspective all about. Well, it has been very, very desired Charles Darwin. He said that it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is most adaptable to the change that survives. Well, that's what happens in our life too. When we see a person of a different religion, we have a certain perspective. When we meet an unknown person, we have a certain perspective. When we go to a different country, we again have a different perspective about different people who are working there and when we meet them. It is generally said that when we meet someone, when we see someone, we don't see it through a window. We see it through a glass. Because when we see through a window, we just see them as they are. But when we see through a mirror, it is not the mirror, it is actually our perspective and through that we see that whether that person is good or bad. So in short, it is our sanskars through which we see the other person and through that we say that whether that person is good or bad. The interesting thing is that when we think that other person is good, we find everything good. But when we feel that other person is bad, other person is arrogant, other person is angry and all those things, then we have a very negative perspective about that person. But we don't realize that when our perspective is negative, we start behaving in that way. When we start behaving in that way, our karma becomes like that. When our karma becomes like that, actually we are creating our destiny. So in short, one perspective is creating our destiny and we don't realize that what we are doing with respect to that. And it is a perspective which makes the difference. Say for example, you must have lived a certain part of your life. And if you look into the picture, now there are two things. Whether you want to see what has happened so far in your life or you want to see what is in store for the future. As long as we are seeing things from the past, we are always scribbing or we are always thinking sorry about what all has happened. But in case we think about the future, then there is a very, very high possibility that we can see things from a very, very different perspective. So, for example, in general, we have a certain thing about, say, a monk or a saint that they are always very calm, they are relaxed, they are very thoughtful. But in case we find them shouting or fighting with someone, we feel that how it can happen. 
On the other hand, we also have a perspective that are common men like us. We can always show anger, we can shout, we can also treat someone badly and all that. And we always justify that I am not a saint, so I can do anything like that. But it's all the perspective and actually that's not the reality. Well, it has been very, very rightly said that the way you live your life, the perspective you select is a choice you make every single day when you wake up. It's you who has to decide what you want to do. So the important thing is that should we continue with our perspective, which is actually not the right perspective, or should we see the things from the right perspective? So for example, let's assume that there's a child who wakes up late in the morning on Monday morning and the mother is shouting that, why don't you wake up early, you have to go to the school. Now, mother may be thinking that child is waking up late and that is resulting in that he may not be able to go to school. But on the other hand, the child also has a perspective that I was studying very late in the night and that's why I could not wake up early in the morning. Now, both are right from their perspective. But they don't feel that other person is right. They feel they are right. But now as a third party, when you see that, you understand that both child and the mother are right from their perspective. But the most important thing is that what the mother is thinking and what the child is thinking. So we need to see that whenever we are thinking about anything, if we can see it from a third man's perspective, we can always see things in the right perspective. And moreover, one very important way in which we can see the things from the right perspective is when we can declutter our mind. And to declutter our mind, it's very important to slow down a little bit the way in which our speed in which we are thinking about it. And when we do that, then we can see things more clearly. And generally it is said that whenever you are having any problem and you are not able to get any answer, sit with yourself, close your eyes, think about them and then you can very easily find that what is right and what is wrong and you can take a right decision at that particular time. Well, Shri Ravi Shankar has said a very, very interesting thing. He said that see life from a broad perspective. A mistake happens through you when you are not conscious, when you are in ignorance. So you are not responsible. It is the ignorance that was responsible. My dear friends, if I talk about me, sometimes I see the things from the right perspective, from a third angle. Sometimes I see from what all my sanskars are. At that time, it can be right or wrong. But I am challenging every day to see the thing from the right perspective as a third party. And I want to slow down my speed of thinking. What you are doing? I'm looking for your feedback. Thank you.